We have been looking into space with high-performance telescopes for almost 100 years. But something located directly behind our galaxy has been overlooked until now. Scientists have now discovered a mysterious structure that is extremely repulsive and has a strange influence on us. What exactly is this thing, and could it be an unknown cosmic force? Does the structure pose a danger, and why haven't we seen it for so long? In 2017, researchers made a shocking discovery that looks like a scene from a science fiction novel. There is a huge structure right behind our galaxy that has been causing uproar in the scientific community ever since. The discovery of this enigmatic entity was made possible by the use of state-of-the-art infrared and radio technologies. These advanced instruments penetrated the cosmic darkness and revealed what was previously invisible. Thanks to the very latest technologies, astronomers are able to peer even deeper into the hidden corners of the universe, measuring and mapping the large structures. In this way, we have a three-dimensional view of our cosmos that seems strange and yet strangely familiar. Maps like these show the rough structures, individual galaxies that come together in groups and clusters, superclusters, and two entities that appear to be responsible for the dynamics within the known universe. The dark structure first noticed by astrophysicists at SUNY Stony Brook and the Flat Iron Institute have been named the Dipole Repeller. Paul M. Sutter, an experienced cosmologist, published a study that attempts to decipher the extent of this discovery. The scientists translated complex physical concepts into understandable language so that we can all easily grasp what exactly this unique structure is. In his work, Sutter describes the dipole repeller as a kind of super void, a gigantic empty space that extends behind the galactic wall of our own galaxy. The exact nature and composition of this structure is still a mystery that scientists are trying to solve. What makes this structure so special is its enormous size and apparent ability to exert a force that affects our entire galaxy. Tell the truth, don't you find it somewhat unsettling that there is a monstrous and previously unknown void stretching right behind us? Of course, you can also find the idea fascinating. Ultimately, we need to find out exactly what this thing is and whether it can influence us in any way. One thing is already certain, this groundbreaking discovery opens a whole new chapter in astronomy and in the exploration of our cosmic neighborhood. Is it pressing on the Milky Way? This huge extragalactic vacuum, which is now causing a sensation as a dipole repeller, is not just a big nothing. A force is emanating from this structure that is literally pushing our local group of galaxies away from itself. Scientists are puzzled. No one had ever imagined such a large structure with such a force. Our Milky Way is part of a group of galaxies, and it moves through space at a speed of around 2 million kilometers per hour with the other galaxies. Researchers have now discovered that this movement is stimulated or even controlled by another exciting anomaly, a huge gravitational field that has been given the name Great Attractor. This field itself also appears to be in motion and is heading directly towards an even larger structure, the Shapley Supercluster. The region of space where this center of attraction is located is difficult to observe from Earth. Our solar system lies in one of the outer spiral arms of the Milky Way, exactly opposite the Great Attractor and the Shapley Supercluster. In order to observe these formations closely, we must first look through the stars and dust of our home galaxy. We have only recently been able to do this, which explains why no one has noticed these enormous structures until now. However, Observing and understanding these phenomena remains a challenge. The Shapley supercluster, some 650 million light years away, is densely packed with mass and continues to pull more mass into itself, including the entire Laniakea supercluster of galaxies, which includes our Milky Way. But the attraction of matter into concentrated areas like this is only part of the dance of galaxies. Scientists have suggested that there must be some kind of counterpart a low-density region that, unlike the attractor, does not pull matter in, but pushes it away. This is where the dipole repeller comes into play, as it could be this mysterious antagonist of the cosmic round delay. Not only are we actively attracted to the great attractor, the dipole repeller pushes our galaxy away from itself and thus pushes it towards the center of attraction. 
The fact that such forces are at work in the universe is a completely new discovery, but they could explain why galaxies are in constant motion. Where is the galactic journey going? Can you imagine sitting on a ball that is spinning around itself at around 1,670 kilometers per hour and simultaneously hurtling through interstellar space at around 30 kilometers per second? At the same time, our rotating and speeding Earth is moving with the whole galaxy towards the Great Attractor at around 600 kilometers per second. It's almost like a fairground. Everything is spinning and whirling like a wild merry-go-round, except that we don't notice anything at all. You and I are sitting comfortably on spaceship Earth and whizzing through space. It's thanks to scientists like Paul Sutter that we can get a glimpse of these incredible processes. And you have to admit, these ideas are truly fascinating. A team of researchers from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, in collaboration with scientists from the USA and France, have given us another exciting thing. The team created a perfect 3D map of the galaxy flux field for the first time by tracking the paths that galaxies take as they travel through the universe. The data comes from telescopes such as the Hubble Space Telescope and is primarily based on the movement of galaxies that show peculiar velocities. Strange, in this case, means that these galaxies are moving faster than the entire universe is expanding. Consequently, the movement of these galaxies could not be explained by the expansion of the universe alone. Other data sources from which the scientists were able to reconstruct the directions of movement of the galaxies were statistical analyses of the distribution of mass in the universe. This produced a picture of regions with a very low density of matter. These regions contain more dark matter than visible matter, and this dark matter repels mass away from itself. As you might have guessed, this includes the dipole repeller. However, other voids can also be included which do not emanate such a magical force as this strange structure. In the data, the researchers also found over-dense regions with many brightly shining galaxies, and these exert a magical attraction on other matter, which is why galaxies form superclusters and even larger formations. The dipole repeller is currently the largest region of space that is almost free of galaxies. The dipole repeller is not completely empty, but it has a relatively small number of galaxies. The discoveries make it clear that forces other than rotation and gravity are at work in our universe. The attractor and repeller prove that push and pull also occur. Now researchers would like to know how the few galaxies that are traveling in such enormous empty spaces are doing. Imagine that researchers have calculated that the density of galaxies in voids like the dipole repeller is so low that living beings on a planet within such a galaxy would need centuries of technological development to even discover the nearest galaxy. Our nearest galactic neighbors are comparatively close. Scientists were able to identify the Andromeda galaxy some 2.537 million light years away in the early 20th century. The small and large Magellanic Cloud were discovered by European astronomers as early as the 16th century, although they had been observed by southern cultures long before that. So we soon knew that our Milky Way could not be the only galaxy in space. Perhaps we live in a sector of the universe where there are very few inhabited planets, which is why we have not been able to detect any other life forms. And elsewhere in space, the density of life and life forms is much greater. Will we find life? Discoveries like these show that we are making rapid scientific progress. Of course, this also raises the question of whether we will soon be ready to investigate our cosmic neighborhood even more intensely for traces of life. All these discoveries of large structures, huge clusters of galaxies, and all the dynamics naturally give rise to the hope that there must be other life forms somewhere in space that are perhaps exploring the same things as we are or are even further along. Having realized that our Milky Way is just one of countless galaxies in the universe, our eyes turn curiously to the countless stars that each of these galaxies is home to. Each of these stars could have planets. Until now, it has been difficult to study exoplanets, or in other words, planets orbiting other stars. They are hardly noticeable in the vastness of space. But here too, a new era of astronomy has begun in recent decades. With advanced telescopes such as the Kepler Space Telescope and the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, astronomers have identified thousands of these distant worlds 
and we have been able to recognize the first details of these distant worlds. There seems to be an incredibly rich variety of gaseous giants and Earth-like rocky planets in the universe. If we want to answer these questions conclusively, we have to search for signals or biosignatures. With the latest telescopes, we are already exploring the immediate surroundings of exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope has such sharp eyes that it can spot major light emissions from cities or industrial plants on distant planets. The telescope can determine whether there is water and gases around a planet that indicate the presence of life. Once we have discovered an Earth-like planet, however, our scientists would already face a new challenge because most exoplanets are so far away that even radio signals would take years to reach these places. For example, a signal to the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, which is around 4.37 light years away from us, would take over four years to get there. The distances in space are so immense that conventional communication methods, such as radio waves or optical signals, are impractical for interstellar communication. However, science is not sleeping here either, as it is surely only a matter of time before we will be able to phone even distant regions of the universe via quantum and neutrino communication. Subscribe now because the best videos are yet to come.